Hey, it's me in one of two shirts. Sean's cutting open a box because we got Amazon baby goodies and so I'm gonna do a haul. On my phone, it's really hard to make my eyes look at the lens and not at myself. I'm gonna try. Because you can see it. Well, I mean, that's just, <laughs> like, it's natural. That's what everybody does. But when I watch people do it, I'd be mad at them. First, um, oh, okay, we've been keeping a secret. I'm gonna tell them a secret. We've been keeping a secret. We wanted the baby's gender to be a surprise. And for you guys, it is still going to be. <laughs> but for us, the surprise has been ruined. I went to a sonogram appointment and I should have mentioned to the woman that I did not want to know the gender. So here's what happened. She was mute. Like she wasn't saying anything. She was just doing her thing and like we've gotten sonograms before where you know you don't have to like give me a play by play but they would be like you know here's the baby's arm here's the baby's leg here's the baby's you know head or heartbeat the heartbeat is at blah 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 which sounds good you know whatever she wasn't saying anything and so I said to her and Sean wasn't in the room um, because they don't allow anyone in the room because of COVID I said to her Hey, can you tell me what we're looking at? And she interpreted that as tell me the gender. So she told me at the time when we said that, when I said, tell me what you're looking at, I can, I, I can't read a sonogram, but I could tell that we were not between the baby's legs. And she said, hold on, I'm looking for something else. I'm checking something else. And then when she got between the baby's legs, then she said, it's a whatever. And I was like, I didn't ask you that. We were waiting to find out. Oh, and she was very sorry, but she's also my nemesis. So needless to say, I was very upset because, you know, we had at the time gotten all the way to 33 weeks, hadn't, didn't know the gender, you know, we're anticipating this moment of like the baby coming out and, you know, it being like, it's a whatever. And she ruined it. I cried. Sean was in the waiting room. I cried to Sean in the waiting room. We got over it. Most well, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So we and a few um, people around us know the baby's gender, but we are still going to wait to because we you guys have come this far, so you can keep waiting. <laughs> But I say all that to say, since we know the baby's gender, I went ahead and ordered like a little plaque to take um, pictures of the baby uh, when it's born. So we got a little name plaque, which we were kind of like, how are we going to present that? Like, how are we going to do that and not have to wait for shipping? Because we're going to post on social media when the baby comes out. And, you know, you want that like cute Simba, here's my baby moment with some type of name information and not just in the caption. So that came in the mail yesterday. Along with that, I was influenced by all the mommies and I got some copper pearl swaddles <laughs> because apparently they're the stretchiest and they're very soft and they're very nice. Um, and I think they would make cute photos. So another tip, it's not a tip, but another thing that we did that it is a tip if you're pregnant. So I use Zola. Some of you guys have been very generous and bought us gifts and we are so very, very thankful. Grateful, thankful, thank you. You will get a thank you right along with all of our friends and family who have also purchased us gifts. We use Zola as our registry site. Why I chose to use Zola is because a friend told me about it who used it for her wedding and her baby as well. With Zola, everyone who gives you a gift is really just giving you the cash value of the gift. So if you've purchased a gift, it tells me like what item it is that you purchased, but what it's giving me is cash. And then I cash out from Zola and then I go buy whatever it is that I want. 
why I chose to do that and why the woman's the friend suggested it to me is because you can obviously use coupons across the internet you can change your mind so if someone bought you something before you bought it for yourself um, people like hand-me-downs um, that then I didn't need to buy the thing that I had on the registry right I can then use that money towards something else so if you're pregnant, I think Zola is a good way to go. It also let us build the website for free. You can always check out, I've been linking our little baby website um, down in the description in case you don't follow us on Instagram um, or just don't use Instagram. There's like cute little pictures on there. Um, and don't feel obligated to buy us anything, but the website is there with like a cute little blurb that we wrote and some um, photos. If you are expecting, I think it's a good way to make sure you get exactly what it is that you want and the benefit is that i then created registries at target and amazon and bye bye baby and they give you completion coupons which means you'll get a coupon for 15 percent off um, at all of those places i also did baby list 15 percent off and then i can buy whatever at 15% off and it just stretches everyone's gift giving just a little bit further. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And a couple of these places give you multiple co completion coupons. Bye Bye Baby has given me so many 20% off an entire purchase or 20% off an item. Target lets you use that completion coupon twice. So does Amazon let you use that 15% off twice. So it's just like, also we live in a small space. Like somebody, uh, bought us a bouncy thing like for when the baby starts um like trying to stand i don't want to have to necessarily house that because we live in a small space so i have the money and i can just buy it when i need it and if i still have a completion coupon i can save 15 percent. so that's why we use zola that's how the gift giving works just a tip i thought i would share with you guys and my amazon order <laughs> that I used some of the gift giving to buy some of the things that I wanted and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we got a big box. It's not the entire order, but it's the majority of it. So let's go through it. Let's go through it. So I got a couple books for both baby and Sean and I. I got this first 100 words book. This is a hard book so that the baby can slob on it and, you know, whatever. Got that. I also got Hello Baby Animals. Uh, I think in this video or maybe in a previous video, I talked about Love Every sent us the play kits. Um, and in those come these really uh, high contrast cards. But this is just a book that is the same high contrast because this is what... Um, babies like to look at when they're young they they like the high contrast so this is like a staple this is the first thing that came up like I guess all babies have this hello baby animals high contrast book this book I actually saw I think in a YouTube video and I added it to my Amazon cart it's a New York Times bestseller board book Ooh, press here this is the first time I'm also looking at it but somebody mentioned that their kid really liked it Oh, I guess it's just good for colors. I thought it had texture in it. Hmm. Okay, but it's cute. Oh, you guys can't even see that. Sorry. I was looking at it myself. But this is another board book. I think it's supposed to help teach baby colors. Then I got this. another like for a bait more baby baby book it's crunchy and it's more of the high contrast uh situation you know figure in the park it does come with a thing you can hook it onto the car seat you know going for a walk or i don't know i have no i don't have a kid yet i don't know but this also was a staple i saw this a lot of this on the internet as well finally for the baby this sesame street we're different, we're the same. I thought this was a board book, but maybe I put the wrong one in my cart. No, well, that's not a board book? No, but that's okay. But it's got it's some- It kind of has a, the border with the, the black and gold 
binder. <laughs> Those are little golden books. All books, all kids books are not little golden books. No, but this is cute. Um, Sesame Street. Just books. To, just books to read to baby because we want to read to baby all the time, and. I'm sure we'll be reading lots of these multiple times over and over and over and over again. So that was the baby books. And then for us, I got a couple of parenting books. Happiest Baby on the Block. I have seen a lot of mothers um, talk about this. I believe that this Harvey Karp, the author of this book, is also the guy who created the Snoo. Um, he also... Um, we got a couple of the swaddles that are not, we don't have a snoo, but we have the swaddles that look like the snoo swaddles. Apparently they're magic. So got his book, Happiest Baby on the Block. Also my leak, if you guys follow my leak on Instagram, my leak recommended this book. She also recommended my leak, this simple and safe baby led weaning. The idea of buying like pureed baby food is just like, I'd rather not, if I'm honest. I'm sure we will make our own purees. I don't know what we'll do, but I am very interested in the baby led weaning because I want to just hand you small little pieces of food. I also follow baby led weaning on Instagram. They have really helpful tips on Instagram. Um, but I also, so I got this book and I believe that they have a course, um, a baby led weaning course that we'll probably take as well. Inform yourself. And then uh, a old co-worker of mine recommended this 12 hour sleep by 12 weeks old. Because when she had her first, she had him sleep trained super early. And she's like, this is, please read this book. You got to get your kid to go to sleep so that you can go to sleep. Um, so we got this step-by-step -step plan for baby sleep success. We'll keep you updated on whether we find these books helpful as, as baby arrives and starts doing things so that was the books then i also got a little letter board sean and i were having quite the debate on an argument <laughs> it wasn't an argument it was a debate on how we would do those like monthly update photos i was just gonna get one of those blankets but then he was like, it's not really on brand for us, those blankets. We should do something else. The letter board had also been the plan if we didn't get that little nameplate. We have a plan for those monthly update photos, and we think that it's the letter board. Um, so I got just, this is a small one. Got this letter board from Amazon. And it actually comes in this nice box, so you can keep all the pieces together. So that's actually very handy since it's not like we'll be using it all the time and we can keep those little letters out of little baby fingers on the toy front i wanted to get i have not okay i really want to be one of those aesthetically pleasing moms because that's who my spirit is but i also understand babies like color so i got a bunch of these well i got a pack of these little um it's a sock. This is a sock wrap, like you put it on their feet. Yeah, so here we go. It's a pair of socks, but they they rattle. You know what I'm saying? Get into entertaining yourself. Little baby fingers can grasp that. And then these are little wrist rattles that you can put around their wrists. Millie is looking at me like, girl, what's all of that noise? But got a little pack of those. Then I also got, if you guys have looked at the registry, then some of these things were actually on the registry. Um, this is a skip hop uh, activity elephant um, bandana buddies. Activity, uh, I don't know. It's a baby toy. <laughs> this, I, got, I chose the elephant because of our mild safari theme in the bedroom. But this guy crinkles and squeaks and he's got a little mirror and he's got some rings down here and he's got a little texture on his bib um oh it's a removable teether excuse me says the tag back here um this i think also is like a little teething moment so 
Yeah, got him. I don't know. Baby toys. <laughs> you know? Oh, I also got this um, night light because, okay, if you saw the baby nook video, I didn't necessarily point it out, but on the side where the bassinet and the rocking chair are, I have a hatch rest sound and night light a sound machine and night light the one that you tap the top and it uh you know you can set it with your phone whatever if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about but the changing table is on the other side of the room and the night light doesn't illuminate enough to illuminate over there um so i just got this little night light as well that you can move around I'm leaving the rest on where it is on that side of the room because that's where we'll be, baby and I, for like nighttime feedings. And maybe I'll and I'll keep some diapers and stuff on that side of the bed as well. But um, that's where baby and I will be on that side. But if I want to take baby over to the other side and use the changing table, I just got this little nightlight. It kind of does the same thing. Uh, it's char it sits on a base and then you can move it around. So you know maybe we want to i want to come out here or sean wants to come out here baby is a little restless and we want to sit in the living room but you don't want to turn on any overhead light to let the partner sleep because we're all in one room it's just you know another little night light oh it also comes with stickers to make a little face on it so when baby has their own room it might work for that as well I will link all of these things down in the description. This is just, just a pack of burp cloths. Um, I have been gifted some, or not gifted, I had some hand-me-downs, but every time I, I have nieces, a niece and two nephews, and I remember as babies that they spit up so much. Like, I just remember always needing a burp cloth. So, burp cloths got some more of those oh there was another book sorry there was another book another parenting book this is the wonder weeks um that i think gives you like a week by week breakdown of keeping track of your baby's development wonder weeks also picked this one up this was another my leak recommendation i think i talked about this before i don't remember when the bassinet i only bought <laughs> one bassinet sheet and then i was like my mom was like oh you need more bassinet sheets and i was like oh yeah you're right but then i realized that the one that i bought from design duo when i bought the bassinet is a waterproof sheet but this replacement sheets like the extra sheets that i bought are not waterproof sheets and the pad that's in there itself is not waterproof so i had to get a waterproof pads does that make sense so so these are supposed to fit the halo which i believe will also fit my little design dua um bassinet so i can there's this is a two pack so just waterproof pads in case something goes wrong extra sheets but they weren't you know you understand poop so yeah, don't put this <laughs> baby things away. <laughs> you know, I can ask so you like, hey, you wanna uh, go for a walk? I don't know. <laughs> you wanna uh, cook some food for us? No. <laughs> but as soon as the baby things come, Lummy. she putting them away. Let me put my baby things away. Take a no low. I'm about to take a nap. This is my last free week as a free man. You Look at you over there looking like Carl Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Winslow dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not Carl Winslow, you jerk. <laughs> you a jerk. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> one, two, three. If y'all watch this vlog and it's 15 minutes of Celia being grainy, Celia apologizes. Wow. And I apologize too because that's not our brand. Okay? It's not. It we was like to put not. Out high 
quality experiences. And I've been cleaning the windows for 30 minutes in this vlog already. <laughs> to make well, sure the sunlight you comes You can definitely through. cut some of that. <laughs> if I want to watch you clean windows no, for 30 the, minutes. That's the most interesting part. No, it's not. <laughs> What are you, anyway, what are you doing? Jump over here. Look at this. She don't even know I'm what going this. to, she I do know what, it, it was my grandmother's and it's pow, it's a fragrant oh, powder. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what it is. Thank Sorry, you. Grandma. All right, Sean's got to pack his hospital bag. So should I go high designer? <laughs> do you, Which I don't have. That was like, what do you, oh, that was high designer. <laughs> What Prada outfit was you about to pull out? <laughs> okay, here are my, like... I don't want you to bring those. What? <laughs> <laughs> they so baggy. They're not baggy at all. They are what? so they... baggy. I don't want no thin... Uh, you know what I'm saying? You ain't say nothing. Okay, whatever, I'm bringing those. Oh, I gotta pull out some leggings, too. I don't want to wear these, you know? These ain't even fly. You know what I'm saying? These ain't even it. Why you can't wear the Adidas track pants? Because these are played out. These ain't even in style no more. Okay. Excuse me? Played out. You know, they, remember back in the day when these were the male jeggings? They still the male jeggings. Male, male leggings? Yes, that's still <laughs> what they are. They're comfortable, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will bring them. Okay. All right, I need to bring some PJs. Which, mm -hmm. I need some PJs. I thought you ordered some. I thought I did too, but... Then you just order pajama pants? No, I never, I never ordered them. Let me order them. Okay. I better go into labor before they get here. We ain't got time for you to order nothing. I'm tired of being pregnant! Alright, let me get the list. Pause it. He's back. Alright, it says, change of clothes. So here's a change of clothes. Here's that's, the top of it. Oh, because like that's just a pair of pants. Okay, let me grab. Let me grab a a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Standard black. It's gonna be hot in there. Right? They don't even go together. Yeah, they do. Black, black and gray is like. But it's combo. color on your pants. Huh? It's color on the pants. Anyway, my friend said to bring a button-up shirt. But ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. <laughs> he was like, bring a button-up because you don't want to take your shirt off while you do the skin to skin. With Did the you baby. just pull out the shirt and then put the shirt oh, back? Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to take off my shirt, you know. The lady's going to see these guns. Okay. Get your tickets to the gun show. Oh, right. What ladies exactly? <laughs> huh? What ladies? The midwives and husbands. The midwives and husbands. Oh, I see what you did there. You said husbands because you midwives. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, okay, change of clothes. Done. PJs. I guess I'll just wear these for PJs. Oh, what I need... for PJs? Huh? Your male leggings? Yeah. What's okay. wrong with that? Just but I also need a... Uh, your hospital bag. But this is... I need like a go to the hospital outfit, yes. right? Yes, yes. So I'm going to make sure that that's pulled away. But the go to the hospital outfit should be something like, what if blood or uh, fluids splash on you? That's okay. That's why they made dickies. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's why they made dickies <laughs> at all. Actually. Uh... Okay, go to outfit, pants. Are you gonna be comfortable with those? Yeah, they're flex. I they got spandex. What if it? What if I'm in labor for twelve hours? Would That's you okay. want to spend twelve hours in them? Babe, I'm a man. Okay. I am just trying to tell you to pack for your own comfort because I'm not gonna care about you. That's okay. I'm gonna be comfortable. Okay. Alright, so I got... I'm trying to care about you now. I care. Also, I can come home. No, you can't! Why not? You said... You just told me... Yes, sir. You can't come... If you leave out of here in Dickies, you can't say, Oh, these uncomfortable. I gotta go home and change. What? 
No, I'm not going to do that. All I'm saying is, like, if I need to go grab something. You can go grab something when they say, all right, we're about to discharge you. See, this is the part of the vlog where you be talking to. <laughs> I, wow. <laughs> You can't leave, bro, <laughs> until you're coming to get the car seat. That's okay. it. Okay. So, what time should I bring? Or, like, we gotta go to the hospital now. Yeah, another version of a T-shirt that you That's what always I wear. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> should I just bring the same shirt? <laughs> That's up to you. We were like, hey, did you change, Mr. Clark? No. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know which one I should bring. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> uh, I really ain't getting much from this. Maybe I should bring my college one? Or is that more PJ-ish? Um, I, I, I thought we were looking for PJs. Oh no, we're PJs. Why don't you wear the black shirt with the Dickies? No. Okay. Uh -uh. I already have that on in the vlog. <laughs> so like, say you outfit earlier. Yes, you can. What? Uh, I'm going to bring this. Okay. So this is my going to the hospital outfit. You want to, but we said that you got to be okay with getting blood and stuff on. Yeah, it's okay. But what if it don't wash out? I'm fine, I'll order another one. I'm very millions of these. I'm very stressed out by this um, package. It, it, this not the shirt you got for Black Market Vintage? No. Oh. Okay, now I need a pajama shirt. <sighs> you stressed out? Should I bring the rum shirt, the Mount Gay rum? Because, you know, some of the midwives are from the Caribbean, they're gonna be like, hello, celebration. You've never met any of the midwives, <laughs> is the thing. You told me. I never said that. I said, said the nurses. The nurses, yeah. Some of them. Oh. Uh, all right, here's my PJ shirt. I don't know when I'm gonna change into that. You know, when does that happen? When you go to sleep. When am I gonna sleep? I'm gonna be up the whole time. At some point, I'd like to go to sleep, so I would imagine that you would go I'll to sleep. I'll be watching the baby like this. <laughs> well, good. Then I could go to sleep while you're doing that. and you Wide could, open. You could change your shirt. Are you okay? Let me talk to you. Hush, mom. She's she, asleep. She's going to be doing that a lot. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. What else is on here? Change of clothes. Alright, so I got my going to the hospital fit. Mm -hmm. You know, drip. Is it drip? <laughs> okay. I got my coming home from the hospital outfit. I should get some underwear, huh? You think one pair is enough or two? Um, I would be prepared, like, what if I have to have a C-section and we have to stay more than overnight? Oh, man. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, so I got two pairs of drawers. I would just bring three. Three? I only got three outfits. You might pee a little when the baby comes out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I pee, you pee, we pee together. Okay. Alright, I got a change of clothes. PJs, toiletries, which I can pack right before we go, tech stuff, which is already in a bag, a little blanket, and snacks. That's it. How about your bonnet? Or are you going to be worried about my hair? Or are you going to bring your silk pillowcase? Well, I got to bring a pillow, mm -hmm. right? I'm bringing my silk pillow. Okay. Well, you should be worried about your hair because we're going to take pictures. Your child is being born. Is wet it. You so, well, there will be photos. Maybe do a little skin to skin. You know what I'm saying? And then your hair will be standing on top of your head. Uh, and you'll forever be like, why does my hair look crazy? That's okay. It's not okay. That's fine. It's not fine. It's going to be like, 
know, and then you're gonna look at it in the future and it'll be like, my dad was really stressed out. Look at his hair. No. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to look normal. Yeah. That's boring. No, it's not boring. Yeah, you gotta have some fun when you get older. When you get, uh, when you look back at it, but look at your hair. No, Sean. I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's why you always wow. when I post those pictures at Disney World, you be like, look at my hair. And I wouldn't have talked about my hair if those pictures weren't wild. Okay. So, what you really saying? All right, I think I have everything packed. You literally packed. This is the life of a black woman, you know, Gucci bag. Next to your bonnet. <laughs> next to your stool softener pills. Next to your stool softener. <laughs> next to your head wrap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs>